So you've clarified your hair and stripped it of all product buildup. But now what? Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today we're talking about deep conditioning and I'm breaking it down for you. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. Okay, so why do you need to deep condition? Well, I'll say that if you've just clarified your hair, then please deep condition. Because you've just stripped your hair of all of that buildup, etc. Right? And that is something that leaves your hair feeling very, very dry. So it is a very good idea to deep condition. Deep conditioning will moisturize your hair and prevent it from further damage such as split ends and breakage. It will also increase the elasticity and shine of your hair. Now, how often should you be deep conditioning? I would say the deep condition every single week. Whenever you wash your hair, throw in some deep conditioner in there. But listen, hey, there's no point putting deep conditioner on dirty hair or dry hair. So I would say wash your hair, detangle it and then deep condition. Even if you haven't clarified that day, I would still say, please go ahead and deep condition. Now, what should you deep condition with? I would say to alternate between protein and moisture treatments. Now we're going to be covering protein and moisture balance in a video coming very soon. But for now, all you need to know is if your hair is colored, if your hair has damage from a lot of straightening, or if your hair is very weak and prone to breakage, your hair probably needs some protein. But look, don't go crazy with the protein because if you use too much protein, then you're going to have something called protein overload. And that is something that is going to cause you frizz. So I would say your best bet is to alternate between protein and moisture treatments, which means that start off with, let's say, using a protein treatment once a month. So you're deep conditioning four times a month, right? When you wash, try using a protein treatment just once a month. Then maybe you can increase or decrease your protein treatments and see what your hair likes. Remember, ladies, just because something works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. On this channel, I am so pro experimenting, okay? Okay, just experiment and see what works for you best. And then what you can do is you can increase or decrease the frequency. Okay, now I've told you about deep conditioning, but what can you deep condition with? Okay, first off, you can use a product that is specifically marketed as a CG friendly deep conditioner. And I'm going to put up some of the products available in the Indian market right here. Secondly, you can just use your normal CG friendly conditioner and deep condition with it. If you want to take that to the next level, then you can add some oil to your conditioner and use it as a deep conditioning treatment. Some of the CG friendly conditioners on the market is going to be right here. And thirdly, you can just DIY your deep conditioner using items that you already have at home. Some concoctions I'm going to leave right here. Now listen, if you don't have a separate protein deep conditioning mask or product, all you can do is take your existing deep conditioning mask or product and add one egg to it. Now I'm just going to insert some footage of how I deep condition right here. So I've just washed my hair and now I'm just going to use my regular conditioner and then section out my hair. I'm using the Just Herbs White Water Lily conditioner. Then I'm going to section my hair and on wet hair I'm going to apply the product and cover my hair from root to tip. Then I'll just comb my hair out to distribute the product evenly. I'm going to squish to condition only to emulsify the treatment on my hair. Then I'm going to wrap it up in a shower cap. If you guys have a heated turban or one of those hot caps at home, I would highly suggest covering up with it. Adding some heat to your deep conditioning is a very, very good idea. The heat is going to make sure that the conditioner really penetrates the hair shaft. I'm going to leave this on for 10 to 20 minutes. But guys, listen, don't go overboard. Not more than 30 minutes, okay? Because after that, the hair doesn't have the ability to absorb any more product. 
Anyway, once I'm done with this, I'm going to wash my hair thoroughly. Then I'm going to style as usual. You can also just give your hair a break and do nothing after you deep condition. This will allow your hair to have a chance to really breathe and be product free. All right, so these are my deep conditioning results. As you can see, my hair has a lot of moisture and a lot of shine to it. Guys, I've just put two little clips on my hair right there. But yeah, these are my results. All right, so that's all I had to tell you about deep conditioning. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube tells me that 80% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. If you're watching the video, subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. What's more, I also post pretty regularly on Instagram. So if you're not following me there and you want to see more from me, then you can just follow me at Curly Girl Michelle. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one.